there's there's parts on this I can sell for like a lot of money. This is actually great. Great, 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 great. Any any tips on PvP against geared players? Number one tip, okay. Number one tip. Ugh, London Fog, best. Anyway. Number one tip um to PvP geared players, I'd say, is um headshotting them. <laughs> <laughs> but uh i'm not even kidding though like the number one thing i could tell you to killing a geared person is you want to be able to insta headshot hurt someone and so now you're thinking well okay i knew that but how do i do that okay the way i learned how to do that okay because other than killing okay there's two ways to kill geared people okay you're either you because you can use shit guns like a shit gun shit gear you can have the shittiest fucking level two garbage but if you have like the best ammo in your gun you're going to fucking go right through their armor and kill them but even if you have shit ammo okay because like this is something that i did in order to practice my ads straight for your head or straight for like you know aiming for certain body parts you want to go make sure you use your scavs a lot early game like when you're playing and when i mean early game i mean early game for you not early game for like the game, the player base because there's lots of geared people running around now so i go in i'll go in i'll go into my scav okay and the thing is that also with scav it really depends what you have but with the scav you have to make do with what you have so it forces you to do things that you've never done before so, like, if you go in as a PMC and you're not really that great at the game, you're not going to get much better at it because this game is a punishing game. So you die if you make a mistake. It's not like other games where you can die, come back, no big deal. It's not like COD. This game, you die, you lose, like, a, a million rubles. Like, and you're just like, oh, fuck. Like, what am I going to do now? The key to, is doing your scav runs. And then even if you have a VPO, don't treat it, don't treat it like, oh, I'm just going to go get myself killed. No, no take it seriously be like i'm gonna kill somebody that's like you know because like with a you also you gotta know your ammo you gotta know your ammo um veritas has an app on the on your phone and it will tell you the pen of every ammo you want to study that chart i mean like i don't know if you want to get that in depth with the game but if, if you really want to actually get better at the game you got to know the what the ammos do and what they'll pen and so that when you're a scav you can check the ammo and be like oh this is i have you know m80 with a foul M80 scavs are like the best scavs because M80 will pulverize any gear. As long as you hit like a couple shots on them, like it's three tap for level five armor, two tap for anything less, and um, a six tap for level six, okay? And through any face shield, it will go straight through like butter, okay? M80. So, you you know, as you're as a scav, you spawn in, you have a scav, you check the ammo, it's got M80 in it, you know, oh, I can actually just right away go and kill a geared player. As in, if you were to spawn in with like a Keter... I wouldn't necessarily go trying to kill a geared person right away. I would go maybe try to kill a scav so that if it has a nice AK, kill the scav, take its gun, use its gun to go now kill a juiced player. And the only time I take on geared players is if I have an automatic weapon. Usually, unless it's a hunter. If I, if I have a hunter, I know I can kill somebody. Even if it's BPS because I know I can pen it, I can pen any helmet they have in the game. And um, even if it's BPZ, you can pen any helmet. And the the tier right under M80, it, it can it can like I think four or five shot like level five armor, and it will like three tap level four, so it will still kill people if you shoot them a couple times, right? Um, the guns that you'll get the most are AKs. Whenever you get a good AK, oh yeah, that's another thing I do with my scavs. I always go customs with my scavs because that's a early game map that you need for cut for quests. And it will get you better at PvPing if you go to customs because there's always geared player. I don't know why, but like the thickest players always go fucking customs and like for no reason. There's like when you think about customs now, even with the expansion, there's a decent amount of loot, but like literally it just takes one person running there and grabbing all the loot and you're not gonna get anything. But really geared people go there, and as a scav, you go in there with an AK and you look into the mag and you see, oh, I have TT ammo or I have PS ammo. Your only option to kill a geared player, even if they're wearing level 4 armor, is to headshot them. You can, if you hit a whole bunch of body shots, you know, if you hit like half the mag, obviously you'll kill anybody. But, because of the blunt damage. But, you want to aim for the head. And that's what it will teach you, because it's like, scavs are free. 
it will get you to um it will it's it's a free way to fucking practice you can use them every 12 minutes pretty much or, or depending on like how upgraded your scav regen thing is and um you will learn how to headshot because you'll die when you don't headshot and you'll know and you'll be like fuck i didn't headshot them I, I need to remember that and you'll go into your next scav raid knowing i have to headshot them or i'm gonna die that's the only option and then the thing is the way if you do that enough Especially if you're warmed up. Say you do a really thick scav run, you make shit tons of money, and then your next scav run comes, do it again. Don't go to your PMC. Don't even waste your time with that. Go into your PMC after your time, when you're, timer, when you're on timer with your scav, and then use your PMC. But now you have this mindset in your head of, I got a headshot or nothing. But the thing is with your P PMC, you're probably using actually decent ammo. So now when you use it, you're going to go for a headshot. But if you don't hit the headshot... You're going to probably laser them around their body, their thorax, and then you're going to headshot them. And it, you, it'll just end up becoming like clockwork. Like you'll end up just murdering people really easily. Like me, me, with me, when I'm in a slump, I'll just start doing a lot of scav runs. I got a shit ton of scav runs. I'll just do scav run. And a lot of times, if I do like two, if I do one scav run, it's not thick. The next one's usually going to be a thick scav run. I kill all of Rashal's boys. I get all their loot, all tins for days. And then I use that gear on my PMC. Therefore, I'm not even losing money. But yeah, that's my number one tip for PvPing against gear guys is pretty much do your scav runs because you need to learn how to headshot people. Almost any ammo will pen will pen face shields. Like a face shield, like a normal regular face shield will get penned even by PS I think. Like it, it only takes like two or three two shots maybe from PS ammo. I don't even know, but it, almost any ammo will pen a face shield and um the only face shield that's reliable that reliably will stop shit ammo is the Alton face shield because it's level 5. It will reliably stop shit ammo. Um, other than that, um, the Killer Mask also will reliably stop shit ammo. With both those helmets though, you don't get headphones. Um, but at the end of the day, headphones aren't 100% necessary because the only thing your headphones really do is when, like, when you, if you ever, if you ever, ha whenever you're on a PMC run, put the headphones on. And then take them off. The main difference you'll notice, especially if it's rainy, is that you won't be able to hear the rain as much when you have the headphones on. But when you take them off, they don't filter. Pretty much the only difference, and, and the, pretty much when you're wearing an Alton, it does the same effect. You don't hear the rain as much, and you don't hear as much, but it's really marginal. It's it's almost like you're just not wearing a. It's almost like you're just not wearing a helmet. The amount of stuff you can hear. Meanwhile, it's like way more protection. Like if I'm like with me when I go my juiced runs, I usually use the Altons I get from Ashala. I'll just use those those altins. I'll just run an altin and a level five armor, and run around juiced as fuck because you don't need to hear. You just need to be able to shoot. It's really this game's a really a point and click adventure. You just like literally aim for someone's head and you shoot them. Like if you're if you're hiding around every corner, you're not really playing the game correctly unless you're unless you're already good at running around. That's the thing you want. You want to get good at like being able to run around. You hear something, you stop moving, you slowly move. You hear them, you push them, brrr, you shoot them in the fucking face. That's a, that, and that's something that will also you'll also get better at playing with a scav. But yeah, that's those are my tips for the most part. My friend just messaged me. Sorry I ranted for so long. <laughs> I tend to rant. Like I have so much information in my head. Because with me, I'm very competitive when I play video games or anything. And I just want to be the best. Even if I can't be the best, I'll try my best to be the best I can be, so like I always that's what I always do, but Anyway, what's up, Wacky?